Well hello there all of you LEGO fans and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the LEGO minifigures from Star Wars set 75153, the Darth Vader transformation. We have three really awesome minifigures to look at. We have Emperor Palpatine, Darth Vader, and then of course Anakin Skywalker. So these are the three uh, minifigures that are featured in the set and they have some really cool body prints and then a few little additions that we're going to get into as well. So let's go ahead and start with Emperor Palpatine. Okay, so the first minifigure that we have here is Emperor Palpatine. Now first thing you'll notice probably is the golden lightsaber, uh, golden lightsaber hilt that he has there and then you just sort of have this standard red blade but they made his little lightsaber right there golden, sort of probably taking after the model on, you know, Star Wars Episode 3, obviously, since this is a set that comes from sort of that uh, period in the trilogy. Uh, they didn't do anything to change the design or anything like that, like they did with Count Dooku's lightsaber, uh, actually giving it like a bent hilt or anything like that, but they made it gold, so it stands out a little bit and then you'll also notice here on his body he has a decent amount of detail uh, the robes have a lot of detail and lines and they kind of fold in on each other there in uh, the belt area and then if you take off his helmet or his hood rather you can see that he has sort of that a little uh, metal silver clasp right there right under right under his chin more or less so that's an additional little detail that looks pretty good he comes with sort of this standard black cape and then this standard black hood piece that's really similar to all the other um, pretty standard hood pieces that we've seen uh, he is sort of a yellowish green tint with those golden yellow eyes um, a little bit of a scowl a little bit of a frown there and then just some standard print on on the face that sort of shows off and details the wrinkles and uh, the wear and tear there. And then if you turn him around here, you can see that he has a second face that's more of like a, an actual kind of grimace, like an attacking face, something that's a lot more um, ominous and sort of, you know, dangerous looking than this, uh, this front face here. And then on the back, he actually doesn't have any print at all, so it's just all solid black on the back there. So that's what we have for our Darth Sidious minifigure. Uh, pretty cool minifigure, standard, pretty standard print. I mean the robe and the little silver clasp underneath his chin is sort of updated. Uh, his lightsaber, you know, golden hilt, and then just a standard hood. So let's Alright, and here we have our Darth Vader minifigure. Uh, we have a, a, lot, a lot of really good detail on this minifigure, mostly in the face I think is where we get a lot of the new detail and the detail that we haven't really seen before. Uh, we have the standard black cape that we see, we have the detail on the chest, a lot of, of pretty colorful buttons, you have the belt with all the good, good old fashioned Darth Vader um, decals and print, you have the print extending down there onto the legs. It's pretty standard. You have the helmet that comes in sort of two parts here where you have that lower lower section that sort of sticks out and it clips in under, you know, it slides on underneath the, the head and then you have the top part of the helmet just like that that clips on, which is pretty standard for how they're making the Darth Vaders these days. Uh, you, you know, we saw that all the way back in the Darth Vader versus A-Wing set. Uh, so that's that's pretty standard Darth Vader attire, no, no print on the back there, just solid black. And then on the face is where we get a lot of kind of that really cool detail. You have uh, a lot of the battle scars, sort of a, an orangish battle scar. Uh, the head color, you know, it's, it's kind of a tannish orange. And then on the back here you can see a noticeable scar right there that takes place among other sort of burns, uh, you know, burn print uh, that's sort of showcasing a lot of the damage that he underwent while fighting Obi-Wan and while sort of being burned on Mustafar. And then of course you have sort of the standard Darth Vader lightsaber with a silver hilt. So it's a pretty good minifigure, kind of standard Darth Vader, but it has a lot of good detail on the face uh, in terms of the damage 
kind of has a little scar on the back there and has really good print on the front, really detailed buttons and belt, so it looks pretty good. Alright, the third and final minifigure that we have here is, of course, the Anakin Skywalker minifigure. Now, of course, at this point in the movie, he is already Darth Vader, um, but this is probably one of the most unique minifigures uh, in this set, for sure. Uh, most of you who are buying this set are probably buying it for this minifigure over the other two because it is going to be the most unique uh, of the minifigures. So you see here you have the flesh colored arm on one side and then you have the black arm on the other. You have a lot of detail in terms of what is and is not left on on the torso there. So you can see through the torso, see the chest, see the burn marks on the chest and sort of tears through the middle there and, and there are creases and lines in the print that show sort of the tear tearing and the burning of the clothing. There's a little bit of his, you know, belt on that lower section sort of leading on to his, uh, the leg print uh, right there that we can see. And the leg print also has this black print here and transitions into gray here, but it has little patches where you can see uh, that his legs, that the clothes were burned through and he, you know, sustained significant burn damage there on his legs as well. He has the exact same face as the Darth Vader mold. Um, maybe just a very, very, very slightly different hue. Uh, but overall, it's like the exact same head. It has that scar on the back there. But on the back of this torso as well, there's additional detail that shows that sort of tearing up, that burning of the torso of the Jedi robes uh, that he was wearing at the time of his duel with Obi-Wan Kenobi. So there you go, that's the Anakin Skywalker minifigure. That's the minifigure with the most unique detail. Definitely out of all these, out of the three minifigures included in this set. So it's a pretty cool minifigure, for sure. You can definitely use it in all kinds of battles, you know, all kinds of battle scenes, and uh, really, really include him in a lot of cool, you know, like maybe armor scenes, or make uh, more expansive, we may see more uh, detailed Mustafar mocks or something like that that use this minifigure to really showcase all the burn damage but all in all it's a really cool minifigure and um, I, re I really like this ad addition to the set. And there you have it, there are the three minifigures from the LEGO Star Wars set Darth Vader Transformation 75183. We have our Anakin Skywalker, Darth Vader, and Emperor Palpatine. A lot of good detail on these minifigures. A couple of lightsabers, you have the Vader helmet and the classic, you know, Sith hood included with those. Definitely some cool minifigures. Make sure to check out the set, um, pick it up, and enjoy the minifigures. Uh, as always, this is John from A Fool's Brick. Live long and play well.